All right, Pirate asked me to show some shield stuff, so here we go. This is this round one here is the end off of a cable spool. Took a little work, got it off. This one here was the same thing, but for a smaller spool. I cut this part out to make it a little bit bigger. I filled these holes here with some foam and I put a stick in it. Well, PVC pipe that I screwed in and glued. So this will be the front, this will be the back. I'm gonna fill it with foam, well cover it with foam. I'm going to use um, some sort of plastic or metal bowl as a boss on top of that. So you'll have room for your knuckles. So we'll see how that goes. So we're gonna carry on with sword, with shields here. Okay, I work in a recycling center. So sometimes I get these gloriously large sheets of, I don't even know what kind of foam that is. Some sort of squishy packing material. So cut circles to go onto the shields. Cut that to go onto the shield. I actually have Another one, because so I gotta double that up to make room for a hand in the middle. All right, continue in a moment. Yeah, that's the sheet I cut it from. Contact cement, here, here, eventually be on here and here, but I had to get this recording in before I turned on that exhaust fan before I... Industrial <laughs> exhaust fans are loud. See? Unfortunately, that is empty. Dang it. So people wonder why I don't make more round shields. I tend to make square ones. Well, some of it has to do with how hard it is to get the foam perfectly aligned and even when you're putting it together. Unless your circle is perfect, and <laughs> no, it's a bit of a pain to took us. It's a bit of a pain in the tuchus. Tuchus. I can say tuchus on YouTube? Pretty sure I can. Might not be able to say ass, though. <laughs> okay. I uh, ran out of contact cement. So I'm going to try this. Um, well, it's adhesive to put foam board onto walls. It's not supposed to eat foam. Eh. Whatever. whole bunch of how I do this stuff is ad hoc and... Making it up as I go. Not bashing this product. I have no idea how it's going to go. So I'm giving it a shot, but I'm only going to put it on this one layer. And uh, yeah, we'll see how well it lasts, how well it stands up. But without any contact cement, because I'm out and I'm not driving my ass to the store right now, I'm going to go back to the tried and true Super 77 3M. We've used that. I use it almost all the time. Uh, shields uh, works much better on swords uh, than contact cement. Also, it's way faster. I only need to wait like six or seven seconds between spraying and adhesion as opposed to, uh, you know, minutes, 10, 15 minutes or whatever it says for contact cement. Or I have to do this with the fan on, but this stuff... <laughs> Yeah, it's toxic. Don't don't breathe it. So, sprayed that. Sprayed the edge where it's gonna go. You probably can see the shiny. I did mark the width, the length of that on there. I have a bag full of these, I don't know, packing foam things. Again, work in a recycling center. The materials are much cheaper. Did I do too fast here? Make everyone dizzy? Ah! Okay, so I took some more of the foam, measured it. See, yeah, this this is like I've already glued a big chunk around the outside edge. I'll be trimming it down. I don't cut it ahead of time. I just trim it because, again, I get materials cheaper than most people do, but it's my time that costs me. So I measured a piece to fit. Now I'm going to Super 77 it and then stick it on there. But I, I have to turn the fan on, so... I'm going to do that.
without you watching. So I seldom have a plan for these things when I start. I just want to turn, make a punch shield. So that's what I've got so far. Da, 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 da. I have some thinner of this foam in not as big sheets, but definitely some sheets. So I've decided to put that on the entire back side on the inside. And I'm going to do that now while I've still got overlap from my siding so that I don't have to cut it all down as far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a plan, Keith. I don't want a plan. Okay, so this shield, this is how it is so far. Just, this is to make sure a couple things stay glued. They were wonky. So I'm going to be putting in probably some inside foam guard here because this is a little sketchy. And then a top layer to cover up this hole and around the sides. And right now, she weighs in at two pounds, almost three pounds, two pounds, 11 ounces. Super 77, Super 77. Yeah, okay, I, super, I, I did this little patch thing in here. So there's two layers for, against the knuckles and the opponents. Uh, yeah, Super 77, Super 77, loud fan! Okay, so generally I just use normal tools, knives, foam, glue, maybe a ruler and a T-square from time to time. But I have this way to deal with foam edges that I cheat with. I can glue something on like this. And very easily round it out. I didn't do that super close because I'm watching the camera, I'm not this. So I'm gonna go do this and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can do this in front of the camera. need to get right snug against the edge. <laughs> okay, I just got one more outside track. I'm not sure exactly which foam I'm going to use yet, but probably going to be something next to squishy. Because when people get punched ac accidentally with the edges of these things, I like them to be soft. Ish. Okay, so thanks to my crew, uh, I have a lot of different foam options. Oddly enough, never seem to have quite enough foam options, but lots. Got some cap, some mats over there. So I've chosen this kind of three quarter inch camp pad thing. I gotta, I've already cut it down a little bit. So cut it down a bit and you're gonna glue it to the sides. And in case you're wondering what this thing was that I showed you, it's a electric carving knife. You can usually get them at secondhand stores for like a couple bucks. There it is, bing, bang, boom. One finished experimental, because it's the first one I've ever made. In that case, a lot of my shields are experimental. Worked well somehow. Shields. I'll just make a cover for it, hide all those little tiny imperfections. And this um, biscuit is done. Yep, that's it. Good movement. Pretty quick. It's got a cool bow to it. You're not going to see any of that. Because we're going to put a cover on it. 
because there's some imperfections and you're supposed to anyway. So eh, maybe it'll run like this. I don't know. We're pretty lax on our shield cover rules. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> no. That's not what we want to do. Okay. Total is 3 pounds, 3.30 3 ounces. 1,455 grams. Finished weight on this shield.